praise for it. Good evening. I'm Mark Zarin from VMware, and I'm here with Observe Me Not, a short story about smart pointers. So once upon a C++ 03, we were doing object-oriented programming with widgets and factories of widgets returning smart pointers. And we had programs that did things with widgets. Um, and one thing we might want to do with a widget is configure it. And the question that I want to discuss tonight is, what is the signature of configure? So an effective C++03 engineer might suggest that we take smart pointer by const reference because that's what we do with classes, right? And you can imagine like a very naive implementation of configure that just logs, and you could look at the disassembly of that, and you could find the monsters that lie within. And specifically, I'm talking about the extra dependent load, right? We all see it, of course. So because this is a reference to a smart pointer, it's really a pointer to a pointer, which is not what we want. We really want configure just to take a pointer, and we want to lose the extra dependent load. But if we put that back in our code, it's not going to compile. We have to do something down at the call site. So the normal way to do this is we add a get. But the gets are kind of noisy, so we'd like to think about some other options. So maybe we pass by reference, but if you have a polymorphic keep allocated widget, that doesn't really smell right. So we could also pass by value. Well, if this doesn't show up in a profiler, it's either going to show up in a profiler or it's not going to work, like if you use auto putter or something like that, which remember, 03, right? Um, or we could use a fancy pointer wrapper that means nothing, like we find in the library fundamentals TS. But that kind of leads us into the fire swamp of design where we find lube sessions of unusual size and we end up with no consensus to abandon and no consensus to standardize either. So if we want to avoid that swamp, we're back with pointers and we have to look for other ways to get rid of the get. Um, so let's look at our smart pointer class itself and what can we do? Well, obviously, we can just convert the smart pointer to T star. And so this is what we did. And actually, we're not alone because back in the dark ages of C++ 98, the wizards of Redmond actually did exactly the same thing in C Um And we lived this way for a while, but, uh, but this is a dangerous place to be because you can accidentally uh, create a widget and, and capture it by a bare pointer, which of course is going to dangle and crash. So in C++03, we sort of had a, a, a series of not so fortunate choices. We could use out parameters, we could simulate R value references, or we could crash. And we tried all of these things with some frequency. Um, but then C, in the year C++11, we had an answer. We could use the new powerful magic of ref qualifiers to fix this problem. By qualifying the, the conversion operator, we could convert only L-value smart pointers, and we could avoid converting R-value smart pointers. So with this, the bare pointer example no longer compiles. And here, and we get the syntax we want with the bare pointer at the function signature and no extra syntax at the call site. And we're not alone in this idea either. This is Mozilla's ref pointer, and they have exactly the same setup. And I want you to look at the comment about the get. So they say, prefer the implicit cast. Prefer the implicit conversion. Like, when do we ever say that? But this actually matches our experience as well. Because seeing a get in a code review is actually a flag to the reviewer that someone is taking manual control and doing something funny. The implicit conversion is actually the safe path in this case. And we basically lived happily ever after this way. Well, okay, uh, there are some gotchas. Um, you know, be careful of captures. I don't know what to do with coroutines. Disambiguation sometimes requires that get, especially in ternary operators, which tend to create temporaries. So to avoid that, you need the get. And that's the end. Oh, but of course, with C++, there's always one last doubt, which is, did we actually make the right defaults for our smart pointers? Thank you.